Good morning, everybody. So today's a Saturday. It's currently 4.55 a.m. Um, and I am up because it's Shanghai Grand Prix right now and it's going to be the F1 sprint race that I don't want to be missing. So we're up at this hour on a weekend. So let's go, guys. <laughs> I have to say, the qualifying yesterday was so incredibly fun, especially the ending, although I actually was out like in the last 10 minutes of the quality because I was going to uni, but I rewatched it obviously, and yesterday's qualifying was very fun because it started raining and things started changing. Um, so it was very interesting. So I'm very curious how the spring race is gonna go and also this is the first spring race of the year Some fans in Shanghai. It's lights out and away we go. It's a great start from Lewis Hamilton He's already alongside Lando Norris. Norris tries to cut him up ahead in third place Max Verstappen is now just eight tenths of a second We are not even at half distance here. Guys, I woke up at 5 a.m. Hamilton P1, Verstappen P2, Alonso P3. Honestly, Aston Martin is really popping off. So, go Aston Martin. Suddenly, I'm an Aston Martin fan. Tomorrow, I'm buying Aston Martin merchandise. So, yeah. Sadly, Stroll isn't doing that well. He's P14. So, we're being for Stroll. Let's go, Stroll. Good morning world. So as I already mentioned, it's Saturday. We do not talk about the F1 sprint that there was. That sprint race never happened. Lap 1 absolutely traumatized me. But I woke up. It's currently around 7.40. I showered. I'm just gonna do my hair a bit. I just want to fix my bangs, honestly, and that's kind of it. Um, because I don't really have time, but me and Vika are meeting up for extremely early breakfast. We've never met this early in our lives before. Um, I've never went out this early in my life before here in Amsterdam, but we're going for breakfast at 8 a.m. Um, coming back at 9, there's a race at, from 9 to 10, um, because Vika has places to be. I have a place to be at, aka watching the F1 race, um, and yet, yeah, this weekend i really want to dedicate to just my thesis i got the past week has been honestly very tough on me mentally physically mostly mentally i've not been feeling well at all things have been just adding up yesterday for two past days actually fully i've been editing orders of clients and i've had very difficult difficult clients to work with so i've just been dealing with them and now that i'm finally done i have only one order to go but that's not until monday so this weekend i really want to dedicate to my thesis because 5,000 words are due next friday i currently have 1,000 words and it's saturday so i really need to tackle my research framework this weekend um and yeah You guys, change of plans, um, Vico's not ready. So we decided to just meet up at her place, which is, she's my neighbor, by the way. So um, I'm just gonna go upstairs. She's gonna make us pancakes, this and that. So that's what we're doing. I'm just wearing my sweatpants, blue t-shirt, just a white jacket over it if I get a cold, which actually, I don't think I will, but just in case. And yeah, on my side, this looks pretty funny. Like, yeah, no, even more. <laughs> Just <laughs> me and Vika are here. 
Guys, I'm so pale. It's terrible. I need to do something about it. I don't know what I'm going to do about it. I feel it. like I'm balding on this part. I am so pale. I mean, but you're also against the light, so it's like, bro, look at, look at me. I'm like... We are together. <laughs> it's currently 8.19. <laughs> Vika is um, clearly traumatized by my yelling <laughs> at 8 in the morning. <laughs> I want to do the vlog thing where it's like... <gasps> 8 20 guys. You know I woke up at 5 a.m. to watch F1 sprint race. So so after the sprint race is the when the call looks like... It's, yeah, because it's like... Oh, because they're doing multiple it's sprint race and regular race. Mm -hmm. So yesterday was the qualification for sprint race, and today was sprint race, and today's quality, and then tomorrow's the race. That's such a busy schedule. I know. To keep up with I know. But I've always wondered, like, do you understand like the rules of it all? Yeah. Because like, because like, I think I had one friend that was also into Formula One, and I was like, do you understand the rules of like yeah. a, a, what? what I know it's like whoever f finishes the finish line first is like the best of them, but still, like, there has to be something about it. She was like, no. Oh, no, it's actually pretty simple to understand. Like, it takes you like two days and you figure it out. Not too difficult, which Back to the I video. like. Yeah. Yeah, but that race was terrible. We don't talk about it. Fair. Who are we? <laughs> I was just gonna say, who are we voting for? <laughs> <laughs> We're voting for Ferrari and McLaren. Yay! Woo! So, yeah. Crazy! <laughs> Cooking segment now! Yay! If we could run it, if we could run it, just do you wonder? If we could run it, I was at home. Uh, oh. <laughs> when I made them, I was pretty much sure like, they didn't have anything. Please let go out of style. Taylor Swift, please do not copyright us. We're just trying to have fun. Thank you. She does any whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this get copyrighted. But anyways, comment down below your favorite Taylor Swift songs from the new album, The Tortured Poi Department, because that album absolutely stops. Also, why do I have so much energy at 8.30 in the morning? I don't know. But in either case... Write down your favorite Taylor Swift photo, but... Your favorite, don't worry. Taylor, your favorite Taylor Swift photo? Um, Is that you I, have? I said the wrong thing. I don't know. You should too early. Write down your favorite Taylor Swing song. Did I say Taylor Swing? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Sorry. Taylor, if you see this, no, you don't. She'll never see this. I love the, the delusion. The amount yeah. of delusion I have at 8 30 in the morning is absolutely crazy. Yeah. But I'm still on the sentence that I couldn't say, oh. like, write down your favorite Taylor Swift song, but I have to know it. It's like, it's like two songs are allowed, and then there are comment section. Okay. Oh, what was the other one? No, I forgot what was the other one, <laughs> the second one I know. It was, uh, She knows was it once? It was the song that was once again about Harry Styles. It was, she uh, really knows songs about Harry Styles. Dude, I know you, you know, 1989, when 1989 came out, Taylor's version, their new songs also about Harry Styles, so you can listen to them. It's, I think, Say Don't Go is about him, probably, and, um, is it over now? Oh my god, you will, wait, I have to play it for you. You guys, I might be over at Vika's as a guest, but I am watching F1. standing up in front of our commentary box, I can hear them cheering. I'm assuming that's not just for you. You crofty, yes. Hello, Nico. Hello, everybody from, from the pit lane. It's because... It should be okay. George Russell's in the pits. Might be okay. He is... I don't understand most of it, but it looks fun. And I'm literally losing every single thing because I don't get anything. But um, cool cars. They go fast. Yay. <laughs> It's like speedy cars, yay. Good review, good review. Yeah. I mean, that is right. It's just fast cars, so. Fast cars. Advertisement time. Sponsored! <laughs> now it's time for us to talk about our sponsor of the day. I sponsor off my pancakes. I'm like, the pancakes I cook. Sponsored by Opro. 
Uh, yeah, whatever it is, like both of them. I don't know if you can just say their brands like that and yeah, just say like, that. okay, it's sponsored well, it's by Opro. Spot. They gave us ten thousand euros, and now we are rich. So, uh, put down, <laughs> put down. What what sort of code would they have to put down to? Oh, it's Seminch fifteen for fifteen percent of of your Opro purchases. This <laughs> So good, you can't. Pre that is misleading, guys. We're not sponsored. We're not sponsored. We're not. I, sponsored. I just, I've just been watching too much YouTube. I just have it like it comes from my heart. Alright world, it's been an hour that I've been studying and I have a two hour timer that I, I've not been using timers for 10,000 years. Honestly, I haven't been studying properly for 10,000 years. So um, I will say this is getting back to like my, I don't know, high school era, first year uni era uh, because yeah, life gets in the way of studying. But basically, um, I cannot go on my phone and I have an hour left to, to study and I'm trying to write my research framework for my thesis so I'm currently just um, reading one of the books that I'm using which is Mulvey's Visual Pleasure. It's a classic in the feminist discourse and gender studies and also the foundation of the male gaze and I'm talking about um, the influence of the male gaze on girlhood and I'm discussing it in in regard to um, Little Woman, the 2019 adaptation. So yeah, I'm trying to figure out what I want to narrate about the male gaze in the research framework. So I'm just trying to read through it and then I'm, you know, I have um, a lot of other books. I have like two books of Teresa de Loretis who does base her work off of Laura Mulvey, but, I'm al but also I think she also bases her work on Judith Butler and Judith Butler also has a paper on Bivore's work which I'm also using so I'm just kind of using the same authors I'm using the basically the scholars who are the foundation of our current feminist discourse and gender studies I don't know I mean it's the first thesis I'm ever writing because I'm doing a bachelor's so it's a very interesting process to navigate through um, I can only imagine how much more dense a master's dissertation is and I'm not ever going to go further off thinking of a PhD. I'm not even doing a master's, but yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm just trying to write my bachelor's thesis. And I must admit, it's very fun because I obviously have a topic that I'm very passionate about. I love my media object. Little Woman is a film that broke me to my core but also healed me at the same time when I first read the novel which um, shout out to Sinai who suggested to read Little Woman to write my extended essay in high school and I wrote my extended essay on literature, English literature, I did Little Woman and now I'm just analyzing the film for my bachelor's thesis which is a very like full circle moment. Um, that book just resonated with me so much. I feel like such a timeless piece for just exploring how girlhood is like obviously it's very limited and a lot of constraints given the fact that it's all about white females so it's to an extent it's a very white feminist um work but it's still i feel like a work that can resonate to every girl because there's so many there are four different characters protagonists who you know, are very different, they're not alike. So I feel like even as a woman of color, you can still resonate to bits and pieces. Obviously, it's not similar at all. Girlhood looks different for everybody, but the foundation of having to deal with the patriarchy is kind of the same, um, like the base layer, at least in my perspective, which might change. My company, let it, who wants being me. 